there. It's time for some Saturday weekly daily games. Um, it's hot here. I'm very hot. So I didn't feel like putting up my screen because I get no airflow. Um, we have escaped every heat wave this summer, except this one. And we are struggling. So uh, it's supposed to be even hotter tomorrow, but it's unpleasant today and it's going to be deadly tomorrow. <laughs> so we don't have air conditioning and we bought lots of popsicles and ice cream and we're making ice to keep, help keep our animals cool. And oh, it's just, it's, it's awful. Um, where I live, this summer has been incredibly mild. Our hottest day this year was back in April. We had a heat wave. Uh, it was in the 90s in April. It has not hit, I think, higher than like 82 Fahrenheit, obviously, uh, this entire summer until yesterday. <laughs> it's been in the high 80s the last couple of days. Tomorrow it's supposed to be close to 100, and I think we're all going to die uh, of heat stroke. And if we don't, <laughs> it will cool back off, um, but not as much as I wish it would. But fall will come and it will be pleasant again one day and I will be back in my trademark hoodie. <laughs> it will happen. I dream of living in a place with central air conditioning, although then I think of what my electric bill would be and kind of am grateful I don't have that option because I would definitely use it. Um, anyway, let's play some word games. Uh, we're going to play Exordal, Quartal, Warmal Symbol, Wordle Peaks in that order. Uh, we'll chain them together. And I did not get any word suggestions for Quartal, so I will do it myself. Uh, as always, if you would like to leave me a suggestion of three starting words for Quartal specifically, um, leave me three words in the comments, five letter words that are accepted in Wordle, obviously, um, that are thematic in any theme that appeals to you. Just tell me a story. Tell me why it means something to you. We had somebody pick five words that described a vacation they were on. We had somebody pick five words that related to their favorite music album. So Anything that's, you know, an event going on, it's Labor Day weekend, so if somebody has suggested something like labor, something, you know, like that, like that would have been appropriate. Um, anything, anything that's obviously appropriate and uh, meaningful to you. So uh, you can leave that in the comments and you might see your words in the following week's video. Uh, for Wordle, if you're, I, I get lots of suggestions now, I don't have to beg for them, but uh, I always do a thematic word that goes with the previous day's word. Um, so if you saw today's video, it was yesterday's word was charm, and then a bunch of people suggested lucky, so we did lucky charm, um, like that. So that's all I've got for you. Uh, find me on Patreon if you like to support me um, monetarily. I put bonus content up there for my patrons as a thank you. You can join for as little as a dollar a month, and you'll get access to those bonus videos. Um, Five dollar level explorer tier patrons do also get priority consideration for word suggestions. So if that interests you, that's how you can buy your way into my heart. Um, but always, of course, subscribing, liking, commenting. That's that's the best way to support your content creators. Um, when I get to a thousand subscribers, I can monetize. We are approaching it. We didn't make a thousand by Labor Day like we hoped we would, but a uh, thousand by Halloween. <laughs> uh, we'll do something special to celebrate when I get to 1K. Um, and uh, let, let's, let's, uh, oh, you can find me on Discord. I, I announce upcoming streams and we chat and whatever. I post pictures sometimes there. Um, it's the Puzzle Plaza Discord, which is a place where we hang out with a bunch of content creators. It's not just me. It's uh, owned by Ranksk, my brother, you may or may not be familiar with. You probably are. Um, as well as, I'm going to read the list so I don't miss anybody. Bremster, who does Sudoku videos. Scott Strosolves, who you are almost certainly familiar with, <laughs> a very popular channel. He does word games. Um, Sven, who is the genius behind the Cracking the Cryptic Sudoku app. Um, the Asylum, who also streams word games and uh, video makes videos. And Zetamath, who does uh, Sudoku as well. So if you'd like to come hang out with us, you can join the Discord. The invite link is in the description below. Uh, and I am the GeoJester discussion channel, and you can come hang out with me there. Um, set yourself a role to receive announcements so you'll know when I'm going live. Um, also, of course, if you're a subscriber here, hit the bell, and you'll get notifications when I post new videos and when I go live. Um, and I hope to see you in my comments and on my streams. So let's get started. Xordal. And there it is. All right, so Xordal, if you're not familiar with it, uh, we're solving two words on one board. The words don't share any letters, but we are not told which letters go with which word. We have to sort that out. And we are given a starting word for Xordal, which today is dread. 
that is a little intimidating. Now, sometimes these puzzles are themed. In other words, the three words go together somehow, and sometimes they're not. And you never know until you solve it whether they're themed or not. So I try not to assume they are, but sometimes it does inform my guesses in case you're wondering about some odd choices. But I like to get five new letters for my first guess. So I have something to work with because we obviously need more than three letters to make two whole five letter words with. Um, how about, I'm seeing, oh, the R is already placed. So we know there's an R in one of the words and we know it's second. The the colors mean the same thing as they as you're used to. So I don't really need to check the R. Oh, I wouldn't mind checking the E at the end of the word because if it's not at the end of the word, it could be interesting to figure out where it does go. So I'm thinking whole. Why not? Ah, it does go at the end and there is an L, but there's no O. All right. Um, I wonder where the L go. The L could also go at the end. Remember, there's two letters in each slot. <laughs> um, what about something like stick or stink? I like stink. That checks five whole new letters. Ooh, look at that. We got a bunch of letters now. All right, so now we start trying to put them together. I'm thinking TR maybe? TR train? We could try train. Why not? Ooh. So the word isn't train, but I've placed those four letters. Now, that doesn't mean that those four letters are all in the same word. It could be trail, and I'm going to try it. Oh, it's not. So huh means, yeah, those letters are all in the right place, but they don't go together in that word, even though that is a word. So that's pretty interesting. So we still have S and N to place. So I'm thinking it's snail. Oh no, S isn't first, so it's not snail. That's interesting. Uh, don't forget about our terminal E there. That could be useful to remember. Something like... And then the other thing to do is, if you think of a word to try, think of what letters will be left, and can you make a word with those? So if I did trace, for example, I would still have the I here. I'd have an S, an N, and an L to place. That seems hard, but not impossible. But I don't really like trace. It doesn't feel like it's going to work. It'd be nice to know where the S goes. Uh, it could be like an S-I-S -S word. Probably isn't. Um, it could be A-S-E. In fact, that seems really good. How about place? It's not... Place is a C, not an S. What am I doing? Uh, but the L is not second, so that was good information anyway. And there's no P or C. So I wonder, it's not A-L-E. L isn't second. So L-I-S maybe? Still need to use the N as well. N is in the first three slots. So it could be like I-N. Oh no, I know where the I goes. And I don't think there's a word like that. So I, oh, any, I guess, but I don't think that's, I don't think that's it. Um, why am I struggling? Where does the, so the S still could go between the A and the E. I ended up not actually checking that. Lease? Ooh. So the L is pla- oh, the L is placed at the end. What am I doing? I knew that. So T's. No. Oh my goodness. This isn't going very well. Okay, so the- let's see. So I did place the S. It does go there fourth. Um... L is also last, so it's not in the same word with the L, with the S, because I don't think there are words that end in SL. <laughs> so probably IL. I wonder if it's NIL. There are two E's, and both E's have to be in the same word. So I think EASE or ENSE. It could be tense. Okay, if it's tense, what, what do we have left? We have the L at the end, we have the A and the I. So we have A, I, L, and R. I think that works. Yes. Okay. So we have like that. So it could be grail or frail. 
Oh, we got a 50-50. I'm going to do frail. No, it was grail. Oh, no. I lost. That's so upsetting. I do like the AI-generated images, though. Dread, grail, and tense. It was a toss-up. I did not play that particularly well, but I was so sure of the EASE. It made sense. But that's why you want to check what's going to be left if you do that. And the R A I well, it would have been R N I L if I had done E A S E, and I should have checked that because that's not a thing. Oh well, you win some, you lose some. Um, we're gonna start Quartal with Dread Grail Tense. That's how I do it when I don't have a suggestion. I, I when I play by myself too, I, I like to start with the three words from the Quartal to start Quartal. So Dread Grail Tense. Here we go. And Quartal has been really finicky for me. Like, I'll start typing and nothing happens. I don't know why. Wait, what am I doing? Grail. Tense. I almost typed it wrong. Okay. So this one's interesting. This one has a G and a D. So this could be E-S-T something, like E-S-T-Y. But it doesn't start with T. Zesty. Could work. I'm not going to start with Zesty. <laughs> uh, this one is probably... Could be I-N-E. Or it could... Oh, it could be like... See, I start typing, nothing happens. I don't get it. It could be Given. I'm actually confident enough that I'm going to try that. Yeah. Okay. That did not help. So I am thinking... I'm thinking SD, but I don't necessarily want to waste a guess if it's wrong. So I think what I'll do is test the terminal Y somehow. That could, oh, it can't be still. It could be stick. I'm going to try stick. Ah, beautiful. Okay. Still nothing else in the bottom right word. So I want to get more letters for that word before I do anything else. So, it's not ground, it's not godly, it's not giddy, it's not gonad. I'm just kind of going through... Words that start with G that have a D in them that I can think of, and I'm not getting anywhere. Uh... Huh. Think of anything. Gaji. <laughs> if it didn't start with G, if it started with D, I would think dodgy, but now actually no there's no there's not two D's because of dread. I wonder if I should try Zesty. I'm really not confident enough to waste a guess with a Z if it's not. That's my problem. If I were more sure I would go ahead and do it, but after losing Sortal, I'm even more like unsure. I don't know what I'm doing. Sometimes typing in random words, something will, will pop out. It's like, oh, that must be it. But it's not working. Um, goody. Nice. So you know what? I'm going to try Zesty. <laughs> Look at that. That was actually a pretty good solve. I had no incorrect guess after the first three, right? Yeah. Stop and think things through, you're more successful. There's a lesson in that. All right, let's move on to Warmel. 
So in Wormel, we are guessing the, by the position of the letter in the alphabet, and we're told whether the letter that we need is within three of the letter that we have. So for example, we have a gray Q, and it shows us on the keyboard that the letter we need is not within three before or three after Q. So it's any of the letters that are not grayed out. But then when it's yellow, it means it is in that range. It's either one of the three before or three after the O. So we're not, we're not trying, basically we're taking each letter individually. We're not trying to fit the O into the word. There may not be an O in the word at all, for example. So, fun fact, there are no vowels that are within three of each other. Oops. So if a vowel is yellow, then you don't have a vowel in that slot. You can see I have LMN and PQR here. So I'm going to try either L or R because they're most likely to be able to follow whatever goes here. What about GR? I'm going to try, I'm going to try green, actually. That's a pretty good guess. Oh, we got the double E. Look at that. Okay, so that's now narrowed down. It's probably an L. Um, B or C, most likely. Bleed? Yeah. Okay. Right. I feel vindicated. That was a very good solve. Uh, they there are two more modes. There's super and super bonus plus or super plus or something. Where with super it only tells you if you're within two, and the the highest level it tells you if you're within one. But I am not going to do that on this video. <laughs> but we will start symbol with bleed, which is not a great starting word for symbol. But we got we got to follow our own rules, right? Okay. So with symbol, we're trying to figure out what the symbols mean. They mean green, yellow, or gray. Almost said red. Um, but we don't know which one means which color, and it doesn't apply to the word we guessed, it applies to the answer word. So the answer word has one of the letters from bleed in its fourth position. I'm going to go ahead and assume that the yellow moons are gray letters, meaning that the f these four letters are not found in bleed. Um, it may be, I mean, it could be blend. <laughs> it would be pretty weird, but it could be. But I'm going to assume first... I'm going to test by keeping an E in the fourth position, assuming that purple circle means green, and four other letters. So something like poker. Okay, so because the only common letter between bleed and poker is the E, and it came up in the same spot, I'm going to go ahead and say that this word ends in ER, but we need three different letters for the first three letters. So how about gamer? Okay, so the A is correct. So our word is this pattern, and we just have to figure out what it is. What do we have? Cater, saner, hater, water. Um, there's a lot of options for that. It's a trap. I'm going to try water. Okay, so it's probably hater or cater. It's hater. That's not very nice. <laughs> okay. Hater. So we will start Wordle Peaks with hater, which again is not a great starting word, but that's okay. Oh, it turns out it's a good word this time. <laughs> it doesn't mean it always is. So with Wordle Peaks, similarly to Wormel, to, oh my god, Wormel, uh, we are given information about where in the alphabet the letter we need is. So, but we're told whether it's higher or lower in the alphabet than the letter we're given. So a blue arrow pointing down, you can see it's curved at the bottom, it's pointing down. That means we need to get closer to A, and it gives us the range both in the slot and on the keyboard. So we need a letter from A to G for the first word. For the first letter, the second letter is A, the fourth letter is E, I got lucky. Um, we need something that's above T, which is actually pretty high. And then here we need something below R, which is a fairly large range. But this is pretty limited already. So my question is what goes here? And it's probably either a Y or a W. Well, it could be a V. Actually, it could be a lot of things. So another question to ask is, what does it end in? And most likely N or D, but it could be L. So what looks fairly likely? Um, I was like thinking like faxed. <laughs> I'm sure it's not that, but that would be pretty funny. What about gavel? Gavel looks pretty good. Gavel is right. All right, well, I may have had a bad exordial solve, but the rest of them were very, very good, so... Uh, 
that was that was neat. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, uh, hit that like button. If you're not subscribed, now's a good time to do so. And a uh, special shout out to my patrons, especially my Explorer tier patron, Shannon. Thank you so much for your support. It is so very appreciated. Uh, it makes me want to keep doing this. Knowing that people are watching, seeing that subscriber number grow, seeing people subscribing to Patreon, it just makes this, you know, I'm not, I'm not screaming into the void and nobody wants to feel like they're screaming into the void. So thank you so much. Um, and I will see you all tomorrow for some more word games. Bye for now.